because these higher borders help to collect water on the edge. Then this water goes into the outlet to the kitchen chamber. Either we can use this water in the agriculture fields. If both the collection chambers are filled, we can use this water for agriculture. As you can see, there are two collection chambers here. This can be used for the purposes of gardening only, and this water can be used for the scent for purification. First, we will go to the impure tank. Impure tank will have impure water, and to move by, we will go to the crusher. Crusher will crush all the stones in the water. It is important for the pressure to crush the stones because the stones can block the path. Then through a pipe it will go to chlorination tank. As you can see, there are two net base structures. The first net and base structures allow the clean water to enter the chlorination tank, and the other net structure doesn't allow the crushed stones to enter the water. And the water is purified here. And through this pipe, it will all the pure water will be collected in the pure tank. And this can be used for household purposes like gardening, cleaning, washing, and also to produce electricity by throwing water on turbine. Turbine spins, so it will produce electricity. Thank you.